Oh. We are buddies and we like to play games in the new Bed Buddies. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bear Buddy with Pete and uh, I'm playing uh, Resident Evil the remake uh, so I haven't said but this is uh, this is still one of my favorite Resi, Resi games so they have made many many Resi games so far they have made uh, uh, I think how many games how many main streamline main, main streamline main mainline games uh, oh there's something here. Will you take the emblem? No. No, I don't think I need it yet. So, uh... I think I know where that needs to go, but... I... No, do I need where that needs to go? Who knows? Anyway. Uh, moving on. Um... Yeah, they made a lot of Resi games. Uh, so the eighth one has recently been announced, and um, so I've played all of the main line games so far, except for <gasps> where's the zombie? Is there a D zombie? Is there? Yep, yep. There is D zombie. Yep, run away, run away from D zombie. Um, oh God, the corpse of Cobride Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kedith. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. What the fuck is a video? Um, poor Kenneth. It looks like his throat's been torn out. Kenneth, it's okay. I can, I can save you, man. I can save you. Um, is there anything else in here? No, no, there is not. Let's carry on. I, I love the angles in this. Even, even though the. Uh, I don't know, the tank controls and the combat aren't, aren't brilliant in this game. Just the the cinematography is, is wonderful. Um, you never know what's around each corner. Is there a zombie? Zombie? Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, they made eight games out of this, and the story is all pretty nonsense in, uh, in all of them. Um, but I don't know, the first one's got a, a special place in my heart. Okay, I will not be disturbing him or her. Uh, do I need some health? Mm, you know what, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Um, oh no, what's in there? A large birdcage. There's a dead raven inside. Somebody forgot to feed the raven. Was it you? Was it you? I'm, I'm looking at you. Yep. You right there, was it you? I think you forgot to feed the raven. Silly, silly person. Um, yeah, so my uh, my favorite games in the series are Juan, or the remake of Juan. Um, uh, 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 four, which, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Which way do I have to go here? Let me just remind myself of uh, what, what the fuck I am doing here. Uh, so, I can go straight ahead, but I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to go this way and then unlock a door. Let's just take it easy. <laughs> it's locked from the other side. Oh my god. I just sneak past him. <laughs> um... Oh, the golden arrow. Yes, I will take the golden arrow. From the status screen, select an item and select the examine command. Great. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, sh oh shit. There's that guy there. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Can I can I trick him to... Oh, yes. <laughs> take that. Take that, you little sausage. Oh, it's locked from the other side. <laughs> shit, shit. Bollocks. Bollocks. You unlocked it. Yes. Sticky peach, sticky peach, sticky, 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 sticky peach. Um, cool. What's going on here? Oh, there is something there. Can I pick it up? Uh, yeah, I'll take the dagger. Um, is there anything else in this room? No, apparently not. 
Although, I know there is. Uh, but I think there's a zombie as well. An emblem of a sword is carved in the lock. That's convenient. Oh, maybe there isn't a zombie. Maybe I'm making this shit up. Unless it's there. <laughs> nope. Cool. Well, uh, may as well just push this statue over the edge for no reason. Um, because you never know. It's always good to push statues over the edge. Go on. Off you go. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Maybe that was valuable. The owners aren't going to be pleased with me. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> four, 4 was the uh, the first one when they did full 3D. Uh, oh, no, 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 actually, that's not true. Cave Veronica did have full 3D in as well. Um, right, what am I doing? Oh, I am going to investigate what this is. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Oh, what could that be? Uh, the arrow is made from... Peridol. Sometimes it's poor man's, poor man's emerald. Uh, where do I put that? Oh yeah, I think I know. Cool. Um, here we go, here we go, here we, here we, here we go, wee. Uh, yeah, sorry, Code Veronica, which was technically the fourth Resident Evil game, um, was the first one to be done in 3D, but they kind of kept the, uh, the the angle style of, of these games and um, right uh, whereas four you could fully manipulate the camera and it was an over the shoulder jobby right okay cool so the uh, the good thing about this is that if zombies are on the stairs they can't actually grab you they can only be sick on you which is handy oh shit oh shit oh shit that's not good that's not good uh, Oh, a tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. There is an indication of a... In the shape of an arrowhead. I can read. Um, 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 could it be? Oh man, I love this game. I love this game so much. It has given me so much joy. Um, uh, yes, for my other two favorite resis, I really liked Seven. And I really liked the remake of two. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes should be. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. A stone statue with a hole where the nose should be. A stone statue with a hole where the vagina should be. Um. Right. Uh, what is this? Okay, big coffin in the ceiling. That looks friendly, no? Very friendly. Very friendly. Book is perfectly fit in the indentation. Shall I take the book? That looks friendly. Sure, I'll take the book. Why not? Nothing wrong with taking the book of curse. Uh, what's in the book of curse? Let's examine the book. Let's see what's inside the Book of Curse. Oh, there's a key embedded in the back cover. Will you remove the key? Yes, I will remove the key. You got the magic key. Book of Curse. Let's see what's inside the Book of Curse. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four are in place, evil will awaken. A Resident Evil. <laughs> Excuse me, Corona. Um, cool, what's the key about? Uh, examine the key. Examine the key. There's an engraving of a sword. Very cool. Very cool. I like. Check. Uh, checkmate. Can I, can I change the position of the... No? Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, so they did a... They did a HD remake for this game, which, um, yeah, I, I, I'll be honest, I haven't, I haven't played it, um, but, so they, I think they up resed the backgrounds, they, oh, for fuck's sake, really, really, 
Really? Okay, all right. Here we go. 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 Yeah, yeah. Take that, bitches. Whoa. See you later. Um, let's just check our map while I am standing here. So I think in the graveyard there's some health, but I'm not sure I need it just yet. So I'm going to go back this way. See ya. More want to be ya. Can I examine anything? I, I love the fact that you can examine loads of stuff in this game. So it, it gives a another sense of uh, exploration and storytelling. Right, what the fuck have I got to do? Um, I got a sword key. So I can now go through the sword doors. The sword doors. Where are the sword doors, you might ask? That's a really good question. Um, let's see if there is... Where have I got to go now? Where have I got to go? Where have I got to go? Where have I got to go? Um, I think... I think I might just go and save. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's go and go and save downstairs, uh, and then we will carry on. Apri, the saving. But a little bit. So the interesting thing about saving in this game, um, I, I might have explained earlier. I can't remember. Uh, is that the you you have to collect ink ribbons in order to save, which means that you only have. A limited number of saves which makes um makes a little more a uh, little bit more scary in some ways um because you you have to postpone saving essentially uh for uh <laughs> for um yeah you, you can't just you can't just keep saving whenever you find a typewriter you've got to uh you gotta find a you gotta find enough ink ribbons. Anyway, um enough of me pissing about. Uh I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this playthrough. And um if you're not, then let me know in the comments. If you are, let me know in the comments. And uh we'll see you next time on Bear Buddy. See you then. Bye! A mask that smells no evil. I wonder what evil smells like. Probably not very nice. <laughs>